respected delegates a uh, very good afternoon and i trust we all had a very wonderful and informative session on today's morning and now for this session we have our eminent speaker with us mr amit kumar patel sir and sir is a managing director of intellectual ip law services ahmedabad sir on behalf of our principal management and all our faculty members we cordially welcome you for this virtual faculty development program on pharmaceutical innovations and protection strategies sir once again welcome you sir and thank you for accepting our invite and being with us today sir now i request our faculty member dr jyoti madam the professor of department of pharmacology to introduce the citation of sir to the delegates madam it's over to you Jyoti madam you can continue hi uh, thank you sucharita good afternoon uh, respected principal sir today's special speaker delegates myself dr jyoti professor and pharmacy coordinator seven hills college of pharmacy so it's my immense pleasure to give brief introductory note on mr amit kumar patel he is a managing director patexual ip law services llp he is registered indian patent agent and advocate and working in the domains of patent trademark copyright and design he is also serving as advisory and core strategy planner for number of startups mses industry associations academic institutions and universities for innovative culture build up and strategic applications of ip and ip portfolio building and guiding them for strategic partnership and ip commercialization he had passionately delivered more than 400 ip expert sessions on varied topics of ip innovation entrepreneurship on various stages he had successfully supported for more than 700 ip generation by startups msmes and academic institutions he has completed his mpharm with specialization in pharmaceutics from kb college of pharmacy gandhinagar he also holds PG diploma in patent law degree from Nalsar University Hyderabad he has completed his llb from gujarat university he had also completed the advanced international certificate course on ipr and business he also registered indian patent agent he is presently doing phd on the topic of patent commercialization intellectual ip services llp is a fast growing intellectual property law firm which offers a full range of patent trademark design copyright all other forms of ip and allied services including protection management and enforcement of ip rights before starting his own ipr practices he had worked as assistant professor and was leading the university ipr cell activities at gujarat technical technological university for a period of 7 years he has he had published more than 10 books and several research papers in the domain of ipr he is a recipient of ssip prashamsa award 2019 by the education department government of gujarat for top performing ssip student startup innovation policy contributor for patent or ip work in the whole gujarat state he is also a recipient for award of outstanding contribution towards ip awareness and protection and a recipient of diamond category award under 150 ip programs in a year initiative by gujarat technological university so thank you thank you for the opportunity over to sucharita thank you madam thank you for your wonderful introduction and uh, sir the session is over to you you can present your slides and take over the session please thank you very much madam principal sir and all the faculties for uh, 
this beautiful afternoon and uh, giving this opportunity to share some insights with all of you. What is IPR, uh, why it is important, how it is affected and connected with everyone's life, right? So it is uh, my honor and privilege to be with all of you in the beautiful city of Tirupati, right? So yes, friend. So look, the topic assigned to me for this FDB program is intellectual property case studies, okay? So usually case study <clears throat> means uh, uh, we consider like uh, two companies are fighting and what is coming out, uh, right? So company X, company Y, like those aspects. But here, here, during my presentation, I am not focusing on those aspects. But here, I am going to give you some examples or cases for the different IPR, different types of IPR, patent, trademark, copyright designs. And they are the kind of products or the IPs which are associated with everyone's life on a daily basis so that we can understand how they are connected with our lives. It is not like that. No person can think like that. Uh, there is no role of IP in their lives. By knowingly or unknowingly, IP is connected with everyone's life. Whether it is just a newborn baby or a person who is about to die. The person who is living in a metro city or a person who is on the, the last village of the, our country. It is, IP is present everywhere. Okay. So before we go and discuss about IPR, just a brief about IPR, what IPR is, right? Intellectual property right. So first we need to understand it's fundamental, basically what this area deals with. So look, try to understand meaning of each word, then you would be clear about what it is. Intellectual. We say that this boy is more intelligent than other. So that intelligence has no relation with respect to their age, height, weight, standard of education or education background or nothing. Intelligence is related with the brain. The persons, who, whoever person's brain functions faster, we consider that person is more intelligent. So intellectual means anything coming from your brain. Whatever you generate with your intellect, with your inputs, with your brilliance, that is intellectual, then a property. So whatever is idea coming from your mind, whatever the things you create, whatever the problem you solve innovatively, that is intellectual creation of yours. And property means taking it on your own name. So that you can say that this idea is mine. I am the one who has solved that problem. I am the one who has created this beautiful creation. So how you can officially say, once it is registered on your name, that is a property and the rights. So once it is your property, say for example, you are a owner for one land plot on a crossroad, that is your property. It is on your name. Now it is your property. Now you have a right. What to do with that land? Whether to build a hotel, whether to build a college, whether to build a garden, whether to build a commercial, or whether to sell it, whether to rent it. That is your property and you have a right. Similarly, intellectual, whatever you create with your brain, getting, getting it registered, getting it protected on your name so that you can say it is yours. Officially, legally, it is yours. And the rights, once it is yours, how to deal with the same? Exactly like the physical properties. You can sell it, you can rent it, you can give permission to others, right? Those are the things that is rights, intellectual property and the right. So friends, dear all faculty members, we usually have heard about all these different types of a IPR, patent, trademark, copyright, designs, integrated circuit, geographical indication, trade secret. So these are the different types of IPR, or we can say these are the children's of IPR, different types of IPR. Now, they, there is a, the, the common aspect between all of them is they protect the intellectual creation. But at the same time, they also get differentiated and the differentiation based on the type of creativity. 
with your intellect what kind of things you have created right and based on that creation type it is to be protected by suitable type of ipr okay yeah. so in the uh, in the subsequent slides we are going to discuss, uh, we are going to discuss about all of these these what are these and uh, what type of creations are protected under each of them right so look patent first of all patent protects technical improvement into any product and processes entirely new product development entirely new process development or in fact just a one feature improvement into existing product and process those can also be get patented second is the design so design protects the look of the article how that product looks like external the new look of the the table new look of the chair new look of jewelry the new look of automobile the new look of shoes the new look of textile pattern so anything any kind of creativity which which is associated with its aesthetic look aesthetic look external look such creations can be protected as design the trademark trademark protects the trade identity in any form we usually consider trademark as a name and the logo but trademark has a even wider coverage coverage right trademark protects the shape as well the slogan as well packaging as well the music composition as well the smell as well many a things right next is the copyright so copyright it itself is a very 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 wide area and it covers many kind of creations but in one liner you can consider like what is all that copyright protects and covers is expression of your thoughts in any tangible medium so for example with your thoughts if you make one painting on a canvas canvas is a tangible medium that is a copyright with your intellect you are creating a new look of the building architectural design that is a copyright with your intellect and thoughts you are creating a lyrics for a song a music composition for a song how you sing a song how you write a thesis or a novel right all those things how you make a script of a movie how you direct a movie all those things comes under the copyright geographical indication so this protects the products coming from the special geographical region and because of the special climatic condition of that area or the because of the special skills of the worker from that domain the same product has a very different unique characteristics than the same product from other region and in such cases those products are protected by the geographical indication so look now each ip has a different time period patent is valid for 20 years and requires to be renewed on every yearly basis trademark has a lifelong validity right it can be with you for a n number of years 100 years 500 years or even more but with a condition like you require to get it renewed on every 10 year basis then it if you keep in keep on renewing for every 10 years it would be with you for a life long period the design the design has a maximum life of 15 years initially granted for 10 years and can be further extended for five more years copyright has a validity of lifetime of creator plus 60 years after the death of the creator so say for example at the age of 35 40 you are writing any book right what would be the life of your uh, copyright for that book your entire life whether you live for 50 70 or 100 years and after your death 60 years after your death to your legal heirs that is the copyright validity geographical indication is also lifelong 
and it required to be renewed on every 10 year basis. Now, friends, as say, for example, you want a driving license, you want a other card, you want a passport, right? So there is an established mechanism. You go to passport office, you go to Seva, Dar Seva Kendra or a RTO office, where you go, fill the defined form, pay the defined procedure fees, go through the defined process. And at the end, you are getting those documents, a driving license, passport, or other card. In a similar way, like for all IPR, when you go through a defined procedure, when you fill the required forms, when you pay the defined fee, when you overcome the all the objections, at the end, look, government of India, central government is going to give you certificate like this, trademark certificate, patent, design, copyright and geographical indication, right? So these are the certificates which are granted by government, okay? So once you receive this certificate, this is your legal right. This is your legal right to say that it is your creation. And this gives you the ownership right. And this gives you the, the empowerment so that if any other person is copying it or taking disadvantage of it, based on this, this defines like it is yours. And that's why you can take a legal actions against any other person. So this is at the end of the process, this certificate given by government to you that actually defines your ownership on the said item or a creation or IP, right? So look, this is one example, right? To showcase like that, each product around yourself, is not just required to be get protected by one type of IP. But interestingly, the all the big business houses, right? They understand the importance of IPR and to protect their business interests, they protect their products via all possible means of IP instrument. Whereby if one is getting failed, there is another to get it protected and all cumulatively increases the valuation of that particular product in the company. Look, here is the one pharmaceutical products inhaler. And this is by CIPLA company. So CIPLA itself is a first of all trademark. But this inhaler product CIPLA is selling with the name of multi inhaler. So this is also their trademark. Now this particular inhaler product, we know that there are a number of inhaler product. Look wise, they are different. What is the look of this product itself? The company has protected it by means of a design. Now a trade secret with respect to what are the ingredients, how it is manufactured, what is the process, what are the quality control parameters, everything, whatever the company has not placed into public and which is within the company itself, they are the trade secret of company. The copyright, the label of the product, what color combination, what is written in it, what is the product leaflet, whatever is the newspaper advertisement, whatever is the TV commercials, everything comes under the copyright protection. And the patent with respect to this device, the medical composition or the active pharmaceutical ingredient, all those kind of creations, right? Intellectual improvement into product and process are eligible for getting protected as a patent. Look, similar is the example for the footwear. There is a trademark like a real flex, the, the trade secret for the its composition and the method of process. The, this particular look of this footwear by the Reebok company, Reebok itself manufactures thousand types of shoes variety, each looking different. But how this one looks like, this is its design. Then a copyright for the packaging, labeling, advertisement, all the form of creations comes under copyright. And any kind of innovation into the material manufacturing process, they are the patent. Similar is the example for the electronics. Like, so 
the idea behind all these examples is to convey a message like that every product whatever you see around yourself whether it is your laptop mobile phone watch your spec your clothes or food furniture automobiles everywhere one product can be protected by at the same time can be protected by more than one types of ipr more than one patent on a product more than one trademark on a product more than one design on a product that is also possible right so look in this case like a, there this is a compact we see like a compact sony camera but in this camera itself there are so many different components and for each component they might have a multiple design multiple patents like the same now look as a case study what we are going to discuss it now different types of ipr and different interesting examples to make you understand how the companies are protecting it what type of creations and why they are important okay so look first of all the trademark trade identity right okay so trademark as i said any kind of trade identity not only limited to the name and logo can be protected as a trademark okay so here you can see even though without if there is nothing written then also people are able to identify the true sign means an eye this nothing written but this big color big yellow colored m represents the mcdonald right this is nothing written but this four square with a different color represents a microsoft so they are the trade identities people recognize with this symbol recognizes this is from which company or represents what company what product right so what type of trademarks are possible so first of all is the word mark word sub way canon the coined word right this coca cola so there first of all this word doesn't have any dictionary meaning people has framed this word generated it and then based on it they they establish a company fedex facebook yahoo right adobe those are the coined word then a logo these are the logo marks nike mercedes then a surname ford tata adani ambani toyota right all those the surnames then a combination of logo and the word microsoft this is a c plus a spelling vio sony by vio vio by the sony company then a acronym right hp volkswagen kfc png general electrics right and a place darjeeling tea emirates so these are the different types of the trademark which can be possible like a word mark point word logo surname combination acronym and the places apart from this look at these are the the same word mark symbol slogan these are the different types of the service mark these are the non traditional right the sound mark is also possible what is the sound mark of this the yash raj film what is the sound mark for the airtel color tune what is the sound mark for the nokia mobile phone ringtone the color mark the the color of a date also the color of a life boy so right the color of the cadbury wrapper they are the color mark the then a special fragrance the smell of particular article like a the well popular smell of the detol hand wash liquid right it is so unique like then still why other companies are not making the hand soap with the same kind of smell because it is the company's trademark the design of a business the the mcdonald soap ccd soap or a apple store or any kind of a motion opener right special unique kind of opener for the particular this is the how the door is to be open in a vertical motion for this car 
This is also a registered trademark, right? Then a collective mark, like Alliance Club, certification mark, the wool mark, this is, okay? So how to select a mark, right? So the say like if it is a generic, like a carpet, cleaning, company, biscuit, shampoo, they cannot be, the word which describes the nature of a good cannot be protected as trademark. Descriptives are also not advisable. American Airlines, American Airlines, Burger King, which suggests it is related to burger. Arbitrary, Apple, we know that it's a fruit, but the company has established this name in the field of electronics. And the, such kind of the marks, arbitrary and fanciful, which doesn't have any dictionary meaning, and they are not representing the goods itself. They are the very suggestive and they, such trademarks are easy to get on your mind. Now, important examples. Some of the very interesting uh, and uh, uh, we can say important examples to showcase the types of a trademark and how important they are for the company. So look, we know that the Parley, Parley says, proudly says the world's largest selling biscuit. And look that the, the company reached to this position on the today's time, but they company, as a, as a company, they understood the importance of a trademark for the business and they registered this trademark in the year of 1942 before independence. And still after those understanding, the company is constantly behind this business, right? They innovated on a many aspects and that's why on the today's time, the company is on this particular respectable position to reach on this stage, world's largest selling biscuit. Look at Monaco, this is also by the company Parley product. But this Monaco, look, they applied for this word mark, right? And how, how this looks in the year of 1954 and still on the present day, if you will go and see the wrapper of a Monaco, this is exactly into the same manner the company is using. That is the trademark, right? LMB, the oldest pharmaceutical company of India. Their trademark is also registered in the year of 1943, right? So this is how the companies understand the importance of IPR since a very, very long years. Cadbury, so look, Cadbury is a UK company, United Kingdom, okay? Birmingham, uh, this is a... With, so the company as a Cadbury, look, this company is so advanced. The company understood the importance of a trademark and cross-border business. And this company has applied for its trademark, word mark, Cadbury in the year of 1943, before independence. Look, this is a device mark, label mark. How the, the Cadbury has a, already they do have a word mark. They do have a different trademark for how this in a, the cursive writing Cadbury is written. They also hold a trademark for this particular wrapper, how it is looking like. So on the present day, no. Uh, if anyone want to start a business for a chocolates, you can start with the XYZ name, but you cannot sell your product into this uh, very bright purple color. This is a trademark of a company, right? So that is the power of a trademark, trade identity. Look at the shape of the product is also registered as a trademark. This is a fruity example. The epiphys, the bottle from the different look, right? So the shape of the product, the domain name, fix.in, google.com, amazon.com, amazon.in, flipkart.com. They are also a trademark. The packaging of the product, this Vasundra Chas, right? Nandini Mill, Amul Mill, or a Pan Masala, Tata Salt, right? Or a Lays Wafer, Tata Tea, okay? The Detold Safe, uh, Detold uh, bottle Safe, 
the Fenta bottle same. So they are also a, the packaging of product is also a eligible for trademark and companies are applying for it. The tagline, Radio Ka Bachchan, okay? Unche Log Unchi Pasan, okay? So it is not like that the one companies are only protecting their name as a trademark, but they product every possible thing which is eligible to get protected as an IP and that's how the companies are protecting their business interest, right? The shape of the product, right? This, the, the green color handle and this device, a tester. So this is uh, by a company and look, they are using since 1974, hai? right? They applied for its trademark in 2013, but it is also possible. The channel name, Amazon Kids, the any TV shows, Miss India Planet, Miss Universe, Miss World, they are also trademarks. Movie is okay. Then say a da, Dada, okay? It's a traditional Indian family name to the elder, uh, elder person, right? But look, this person has applied for Dada in the area of games, playing, gymnast. So where the, in the area of games, there is no defined meaning of a Dada, right? That's why they apply and it is possible to get it registered on them. And there, this company has successfully get it registered. The PowerPoint, we know that PowerPoint is by Microsoft for the software. But here, this company has applied for PowerPoint in class five for the pharmaceuticals. So the Microsoft has not registered it into this class and that's why this person has applied and it is available to them. So this is how you can, uh, you can apply into multiple areas as well. So these represent the most valuable brands worldwide. Okay. The Google, Tesla, Samsung, Mercedes, Toyota, Cell, Disney, these are the most valuable brands. Another is the strongest brand, Google, YouTube, Instagram, Coca-Cola. These are the strongest brands. Most valuable brands in India like a Tata Group, Infosys, LIC, Airtel, Reliance, SBI, Mahindra, HBFC Bank, HCL Technology, Wipro, Geo, Larson and Tubro. So they are the most valuable, most popular brands into India. Now look, how the companies brand tree of the companies. So companies try to protect and the generate business based on the creating the brands. So look at these multinational like a Nestle, these, these are their L'Oreal and uh, these are the sub product of a L'Oreal, the, uh, the Kraft, then a Coca-Cola company, PepsiCo company, Kellogg's, Mars, Unilever, Johnson & Johnson, PNG, like all these. This is a Tide is one company, right? Here is the Nescafe, KitKat, Maggie, right? So Pepsi, Coca-Cola, Fanta. So companies are focusing for the brand building, right? And for the brand building, they invest a lot on the advertisement as well. And that's why each of these products brings a revenue of multi-million dollars or even a billion, right? Look at this, the one of the company, Nestle. So Nestle sells coffee on, not as the coffee, but they sells on the name of Nescafe. They sells a chocolate on the name of a Kit Kat. They sells the noodles on the name of a Maggie. And each of, right, these product, Kit Kat, Nescafe, Maggie, these brand takes a revenue of more than $1 billion to the company. And that's why it is very important for companies to work on and, and to develop on the brands, right? And once you are the owner for a particular brand, like look at the Bistler is the old original one, but look that. The people are trying to take a disadvantage of your goodness, well-known, right? And to take a disadvantage for their business enhancement. 
and to such situation what gives you a legal right to go and stop them to take a legal action to go and seize their facility is your exclusive ownership for that particular ip if you are the one who has owned this trademark only then you can go and ask to stop them you can go and seize to their facility and if you are the owner for the, like a product like this right even though if you say like think like that i i do not want to continue this business and i, I want to close it so if you doesn't have a trademark you can shut the plant uh, plant doors right and you can sell your physical asset to x prize but if you are a owner for such a product and when you are selling your product or a business to others you are eligible to get a very very high premium amount for the goodwill associated with this brand and look here is the example the tata consumers to acquire the bisleri for about 7000 crore rupees because it has a good identity into the market the people go into uh, be in front of shop and ask for a bisleri give me they they doesn't go and say that give me a water the people say give me a bisleri right that is the power of dan and that results when the the businesses are taking over by others they are getting such a very high amount of a, the transaction money okay so these are some indian products and look at their product range and with each of them parle is a one trademark parle ji one trademark this wrapper itself and if in the one tray if there are 20 biscuits monaco hide and seek crack and jack right parle ji good day oreo the bourbon even though there is nothing written on it but you are able to identify this is of xyz company that is the trade identity the patanjali products right the dabar products the coca cola company okay the one of the oldest company only into the segment of cold drinks not diversified but still it is a market leader because of their brand value coca cola right so it is not like that the trademark is only associated with a good value high high value product it is equally important like that a low cost products are also passionately and importantly protected as a trademark by big companies look at mango bite by parle elpen libe uh, coffee bite lotte parle kismis cadbury eclairs melody uh, pan pasan pulse ajmola candy each of this product is available at the cost of just 1 rupee just 1 rupee but still the company holds a very huge volume to run this product into the market multi crore multi 100 crore rupees business is running based on each of this product and what protects their business interest is their the ip as a company parle mango bite the entire shape of this packaging and the wrapper color combinations and everything so on 1 rupee packet as well 1 rupee this product as well the company would have a, the ip portfolio of 15 20 ips the companies these comp big companies understand its importance they invest on it and that takes them to such a great great or high level of position okay the most valuable otc product with respect to pharmaceuticals so look at the most valuable otc products in india crocin decold disprin stopac vix boroplus borosoft detol the iodex move ajmola ino dabar ingoli stripsils halls boost complan horlix so these are the otc products right they are also run based on their name right a branding now the another type of ip is the design so first we uh, discuss about the trademark trade identity 
different forms, name, logo, packaging, shape, the slogan, smells, right? The domain names, the slogan lines, all those aspects, right? Second is the design. So design protects the external look of the product. So look at, with respect to pharmaceutical industry, healthcare, or the cosmetic industry, the shape of the product, like one star in the center, stars into the border, three different shapes, they are the designs, registered designed by a company. This new shape of the tablet by the Bayer company, the aerosol product, the soap, Dettol soap, Lifebuoy soap, the cosmetic products, and n number of other examples. Like, look, this is the design. Apart from reading, this is this looks like a this looks like a the earphone case, right? The Bluetooth earphone case by the Apple. So the first the Bluetooth earphone, the base design product is coming by the Apple. So look, they protect it by this design in India. The new mobile phone by the Samsung company, the new remote device by the Google, right? The look, even without reading what, what, uh, which is this biscuit, you will recall like this is a good day, right? Good day. And this is good day is by which company? So look, Britannia. So uh, the companies protect their products and the business interest via all possible ideas. If you will go and check for all these numbers, you will identify all the genuine details. And whatever the details I am presenting, they are taken from the IP India website itself, right? So when next time you are going to eat a El Penelope chocolate or a, a Good Day biscuit or a Coca-Cola or any others, you just see around that product and try to recognize in what possible manner and uh, what, what different types the company could have protected it. The look, the small socket, the Havels company, the Havels, they didn't reach to that position just via the sales, but because they protected their products by all IPs and that cumulatively helped to generate and to reach to that position. Honda, the new moped design, right? The new aerosols, right? By the Glenmark company, the open and the closed one with cap and without cap. Okay, the Tetra pack, then a tire design by JK Tire. Look at the, the chairs. So these chairs are, they are known since a hundreds, hundred year old. But these people, right? The person has developed a new chess icons with a new variety where the creation on the base part. He has mentioned number over here. And still after that known product as well, he has come up with a new design and he is applying for it. All the internal component of a big product like automobile car, headlight, backlight, the mirror, the door, the brake handle, <coughs> the entire engine, the seat, the steering, one screw or a chalk or a piston, everything like all those components are also eligible and the companies are applying for those such designs like a textile product, the different patterns for your top, shirt, right? The sari pattern or a jacket pattern, a cap pattern or the bag pattern, shoes everywhere it is possible. So look at, we just say like a spoon, but how there are so many types of spoons, each looking different, each has a different name as well. And each is eligible to get protected as a design. There are so many types of shoes, the ladies shoes, gent shoes, right? So many types of the jewelry designs, the diamond shapes, the clocks, right? The different types of the calves, how they are looking like, right? And a different bottle like a bottle, the decorative items, electronic items, the kitchen utensils, furniture, soaps, ladders, textile patterns, right the look at the stationary items okay the pharmaceutical products 
the textile and the accessory items, jewelry items. Okay, these are the example of two uh, two shape. Uh, usually, design is for the three dimensional product, but a two dimensional like a surface pattern, the carpet design, textile pattern, or the patterns like this, right? They are eligible to get protected as design as well, right? So you can protect it like water bottle, automobile, light, textiles, toys, belt, animal items, medical items, musical instruments, defense, and multiple other ways, right? And there are for a design, the they are divided into 32 different classes. The domains, the furniture is one, the furniture uh, jewelry is one, pharmaceutical is one, automobile is one, electronics is one, like. There are 32 defined areas and there are multiple subtypes under which you can apply or those kind of products can be protected as a design. So we see for the trademark and the design. Next is the example for a copyright. So what you can protect fundamentally as a copyright is expression of thoughts on any tangible medium on any tangible medium. That tangible medium can be a paper, can be a computer readable storage device, can be a, uh, 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 you can say a music storage, right? A software or on a paper, anything, okay? So copyright protects, look, ideas expressed in the material forms, protects the expression and not the idea itself, right? So, you can say that uh, idea itself, uh, what we can say, uh, you cannot, uh, the why the each movie has a different script, right? The story, it is the expression, how there is a one village, there are two friends, uh, they are studying together, there is a one girl, they come together like this way, they face such kind of challenges, they go, how, uh, how they, uh, they progressed into life. There was a villain, how their families get acquainted. So that entire expression in the defined form is the copyright. Okay. So what kind of creations can be called protected as a copyright? The literary work, right? Anything written in the form is a literary, dramatic, right? Any kind of choreographic work or uh, the movies, the musical, right? The music composition, singing a song, artistic work, right? Making a painting, making a sculpture, right? All those aspects. Producer of the film, right? Wherein there is a script, there is an actor, there is a musician, there is a choreographer, there is a director, everything, right? Those are the producers, sound recordings. So these are the things which can be protected as a copyright. Now look, what can be protected as a copyright? Literature, drama, music, art, image, graphic, sculpture, architecture, choreography, and there are different other examples as well, like a brochure, photograph, letterhead, web page, maps, advertisement, technical drawing, presentation, white paper, research paper, thesis, animation, music, novels, songs, newspaper, film, right? So many areas which are eligible to get covered as a copyright, okay? And what is the look? It is, you know, there is so much value associated with the business models. Like look, at IPL broadcasting rights expected, right? They sold for uh, five years at the price of 5 billion US dollar. 5 billion US dollar, so that it is not like that the IPL match playing into one particular ground, only that is the source of revenue. That is just a one part, one small part. Otherwise, IPL making a huge money out of its broadcasting rights. So that you know that the, the IPL or FIFA World Cup or Olympic, it is coming on one particular channel only. Who has the broadcasting right? And for that, to get that license, the company is paying a huge money, $5 billion. And how they are earning? So after each over, there is an advertisement. And for that particular advertisement, there is a cost of per second billing. 
पर सेकंड बिलिंग ओके नाउ कतार फीफा वर्ल्ड कप रेवन यू एक्सपेक्टेड टू सरप्रास ऑल रिकॉर्ड्स राइट कांतारा हिंदी ओटीटी राइट्स बेक बाय द नेटफ्लिक्स ओटीटी रिलीज डेट टू बी अनाउंस व्हाट इज मोर प्रॉफिटेबल फॉर अ मूवी प्रोड्यूसर एन ओपनिंग इन द थिएटर और द ओटीटी रिलीज राइट there are so many things are going on around the copyright industry photo coming is not an offense says a delhi i call so we know that the students instead of getting a genuine genuine product genuine book from a publisher it cost around 2000 5000 10000 rupees so what students are doing they are taking a photocopy which is much 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 uh, less costly right so the the government says that for education purpose any kind of copyright violation playing the songs during marriage is not copyright violation rahul gandhi book under copyright for using the song of kgf film in bharat jodo yatra they are taking the photo copy it is not much much okay so look for a business when you are in a business trademark and copyright are regarded as the best insurance for your ip when you protect your product jointly as the trademark and copyright together that increases the value and your protection to a greater extent and how you can say is like this for this particular product the company has a trademark on a brand this product this label itself and for this label the company also has a copyright as well how it looks what are the color combination how it is represented right so the packaging of each product is protected at the same time by a trademark as well and the copyright as well right so this is the how both are together and that protects the company's interest right Ca copyright on the cartoon character so look that there are so many cartoon characters right and uh, they are not just limited to the cartoon so based on this cartoon there is a very big industry is running on the the goods goods printed with these particular items the cap with a motu patlu the shoes with a superman right the bag with a bal krishna or tom and jerry right so with each the manufacturer is required to pay royalty to the owner of this particular cartoon character right cartoon cartoons are hitting the big time and are now raking in billions so look at these are the most valuable cartoon characters we need the pool the value its value It's seventy-three billion dollar. Pokemon, Mickey Mouse, Star Wars, Anappa Man, Disney Princess, Marvel, right? All these. So one cartoon has a valuation of more than twenty billion dollar, and one one billion is equal to around seven thousand, seven to eight thousand crore rupees. That much amount of money is. each of these cartoon character is running a business based on this one now look the next type of ipr is the geographical indication okay so they are indication geographical territory they are for agriculture natural products right they define a special quality and reputation of the product right <clears throat> the popular example of a, a geographical indication is one from your own city tirupati laddu okay it is a registered geographical indication basmati rice ratlami sev darjeeling tea alfonso mango kolapuri chappal mysore silk nagpur orange fanny banara sari madhubani painting darwad peda nasik katha bikaneri bhujia right and the worldwide examples is like a swiss watch german automobile florida orange champagne Tequila, Canadian whiskey. So look in in India, there are eight hundred and sixty applied. Four twenty of them are registered, and others are in process of position and disposals. Look at and from the different segments, right? Handicraft product, 
agriculture product, manufacturing product, food stuff, and the natural. How category wise, how many geographical indications are registered into India? And this represents the statewide bifurcation. So look, from the Andhra Pradesh, there are 17 different geographical indications are registered on the present day as of March 31st, 2022. And one of them very popular is the Tirupati Ladu itself. Right? And to promote right, the importance of geographical indication, the protection of Indian tradition for the job creation and for the stopping of the people's migration from villages to cities. The government is pushing the geographical indication to the greatest extent. And one of the initiatives to, to do this is the government has started the first dedicated geographical indication store at the Goa airport. Right? And likewise, in days to come, you will see that the dedicated only geographical products would be available in this store. And the such stores are going to be open in a days in every airport, every railway station. And you will also find a franchises like a Patanjali store or any others. Like a popular tea like a Darjeeling tea, Assam tea, Kangra tea, Alfonso mango, the Seri mango, Langada mango. They are registered horticulture products like Udupi, Millage. Uh, Adagli uh, Malage, then Mysore Malage, right? The the Kurg Orange, then uh, this banana special variety from the Nanja Nanja Gund, right? This is from a South product, a very small size, tiny bananas, but they are very and the they only develops that variety develops only into the defined region, right? This is also a registered GI, the Goa iron ore, the natural resources, the Assam handicrafts, okay, the, the bamboo products or the metal products from the Assam. These are handicraft products. The these are different examples, the textile products. Okay. Now, after this geographical indication, next is the patent, right? So some important examples which are way back invented a century old, but they are daily need of our everyone's life. So patent is not new for India. The first patent in India was registered in 1856. 1856, very old system, right? Very, very old. So this was the first patent granted into India on the 3rd March, 1856. And this is for what? What this is for? Okay, so look at the stapler. It was invented in 1944. And the same stapler is available with the similar design on the present day as well. Look, the first person who has invented a pencil has applied for its patent in the year of 1864. This fellow wouldn't earn a one rupee or any significant amount from this invention. But it is everyone's daily life need, right? Pencil. <laughs> Look at this is revolver, 1899. Skets, 1864. The pocket lighter, 1936. Look at this. Uh, sewing machine, silai machine, 1851. This is regarded as one of the most revolutionized invention of entire mankind in the history. And this has transformed the industry and this invention is responsible to generate millions and crores of a jobs in entire history. What this do is it stitches the two parts, two separate part of cloth together. Right? Trading. Joining the two cloth pieces. And this invention, the person whoever has invented, he had applied for its patent in 1851. Hair dryer, 1931. Bread toaster, 1921. Look at the uh, hand video game, 1993. We know that when we, we were the kids, 
this was very popular and we were very fascinating right uh, how the today's children are made about the mobile phone and the mobile game we were so mad with this handheld video game but look and this was patented in 1993 at the same time look at how the mobile has changed the world the mobile has replaced so many items it is the handheld video game it is the removed from a market so fast because of the mobile right so that is also part of a journey the first mouse was invented by the apple in 1984 electric guitar the first bulb we know that it was invented by thomas alva edition look ta edition and whatever he has developed he had applied for its patent in 1818 this is how his bulb was looking like the first music instrument phonogram that golden color speaker and the black color disc that was also invented by thomas alva edition and patented in 1878 look at aerosol 1931 look at this is the razor and which is patented by gillette 1904 so this gillette company knows that the importance of a patent ip so before 120 years before the company was knowing the importance of ip and that's why today as well in the razor industry or razor as a product the worldwide the company which holds the maximum say is the gillette because present as well they protected their product by all possible ips right the measuring tape the foldable measuring tape right so this was 1868 the range icon 1915 this is the the television television 1942 look this is very interesting the qwerty keyboard so the keyboard on your mobile phone laptop computer the alphabets are not in the order a b c d e f they are not in order they are random so this gentleman has identified and analyzed the dictionary all the sentences and identified the which alphabet comes for the maximum time and he has placed those words at such a position like that if they would be they are coming for a maximum time and they would be placed at such a position that would speed up the typing so this gentleman has analyzed and created this qwerty keyboard q w e r t y right and based on this he has invented it and applied for its patent in 1878 and on the present day as well all electronics follows the same keyboard pattern that is the importance of ip pattern this fellow doesn't hurt right the the person who has did all this exercise who has developed this this fellow didn't earn a money from it might be but this is a daily need of everyone's life right look at the in pharma industry one patented molecule how much big revenue it is taking for a company leading pharmaceutical product by sales worldwide 2022 this formid nadine by biotech uh, Bio pfizer company right this humira abive the one product each of them is earning a 40 billion dollar 21 billion dollar 19 million dollar one product revenue to the company right that much great amount of money the one product or a one ip is taking for a company okay the integrated circuit so all the circuit designs or a microprocessors or the chip sets right look if there is a computer at your home 15 year old computer just go and see the specification of that computer in your today's phone your small mobile phone is more powerful than a 15 year old computer and that is all possible because of the all innovations in the circuit design processors and the chips they are so small but very powerful right 
and all such innovations can be protected as an integrated circuit designs. The trade secret. So anything which you keep secret with yourself, which is not known to public, which has a financial importance, that can be protected as a trade, trade secret, like a formula of Coca-Cola. Right? One 50-year-old company and the steel company is successful to protect the formula of Coca-Cola. And because of that secrecy, the steel, after 150 year old, this company is maintained its position as a world leader in the soft drink market. Right? That is the value of Coca-Cola. The search algorithm of a Google. The two PhD student from a Stanford University has developed one computer program. Just a program so that whatever the keyword you are placing on the internet, based on that algorithm, that gives the best result on the top. And based on that computer program, within a period of 20, 25 years, those that company reaches to the most valuable brand of the world, Google. And on the present day as well, that computer program is a trade secret. No one knows what is the exact code for that algorithm, right? That is the trade secret, the recipe of the KFC chicken, right? Or in our city as well, we know that the, the sweet from particular sweet shop is very, very delicious. The namkin from a XYZ shop is very, very good. The snack from a, this particular restaurant or the food from this restaurant is very, very delicious. They didn't protect their recipe or method as a trade secret, but they are also a form or an example of a trade secret. Right? So look, in present time, look how the market is driving. Like the, in the present time, the market is running based on the brand and the design of a product. Right? If you want to buy an electronic item, furniture item, textile, food, or everything. We make our decision based on the brand. Who is the manufacturer? This product is of which company? Right? And how that product looks. How good looking it is. Right? And in both the aspects, right, we are making our decision. And both are the type of IPR. Brand protects via trademark and the design is protected by industrial designs. Right? And that's why the importance of IP. Look at this. The brand and design both together. Look at this step C. So the shape of this particular product, uh, the glass bottle or a plastic bottle. This is the glass. This is the, uh, the plastic from the same company. For glass uh, bottle, the, this is the trademark. Plastic bottle, this is the trademark. The design for this glass bottle, design for this, uh, the plastic bottle. So that's how the companies are protecting to increase their presence or dominance into the market. The companies are protecting their product by all possible types of idea, right? And at the last, I will only say like that, try to be IP aware, right? You doesn't need to be a thorough or expert into it. This is a beautiful field, you can make a career. But even though if you are not, at least you should be aware like that. What type of IP protects what pro, what type of creation? Patent protects the, the technical improvement into product process. Design protects loops. Trademark is a trade identity. Copyright is a expression of thoughts in any tangible medium, right? So you should be IP aware. Look, this company is selling product with a label like all patents and designs are copyright protected. Patent and design are copyright protected, which is wrong itself, right? And still companies are pasting it and selling their product. So one should be very aware of these aspects, right? So with this, I will conclude my talk and the session over here. Uh, if any participants or a faculty member has any question, they can unmute and ask or they can write into the chat box. Thank you all. Thank you, sir. Uh, you have 
covered all the aspects of intellectual property rights starting with trademark copyrights patents and finally few commercial examples and uh, you made us to look the ip everywhere around us in our daily life thank you ma'am thank you thank, thank you, you so sir. much sir. Thank, you, sir thank you for wonderful session and i request the delegates uh, if you have any queries please post in the chat box or you can unmute and interact with sir no oh, it's very excellent thank, thank you, you thank you sir can you please stop sharing the slides sir yes 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 thank you sir and on behalf of our management uh, principal sir dr m nidenshan babu sir and uh, the pattern of this program dr t pavan kumar sir the senior scientist of csio kindly accept the honor in the form of momento and i request jyoti madam to to the honors yes thank you thank you very much madam sir please accept our token of gratitude sir dr amit kumar sir yes uh, this would be my honor ma'am i respectfully accept it thank you Thank, Thank you. you, sir. Thank you so much. We'll we'll communicate this uh, certificate to your postal address, sir. Yes, yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for connecting with us, and thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Like to collaborate with you in future more events, sir. Sure, sure. sure. Thank okay. you, sir. Dear delegates, uh, the feedback link for the day one is posted in the Zoom chat box, and you can also find the feedback link in the YouTube description chat box. Please uh, fill the feedback form, and uh, eighty percentage of attendance is mandatory to avail the certificate. So don't skip to fill the feedback forms. And uh, that's all for the day one, and uh, see you all tomorrow for the. session 3 and day 2 of this 5 days eftp program and thank you all the faculty members for connecting with semphils college of pharmacy once again and thank you all goodbye thank you thank you ma'am thank you sir thank you so much janagana mana adhinayak jay he bharat bhagya vidhata पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कल बंगा बिंद हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चल जलधि तरंगा तव शुभ नामे जागे तव आशीष मागे गाहे तव जय जनगण मंगलदायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे